There are plenty of series that have been published over the past year in the history of manga. Some good, some bad, and some really iconic ones that still remain very popular till this day. But what about the majority that is being hidden in the shadow? The new ones or the ones that people rarely know about? Here are three hidden manga gems that you should check out ASAP before they get popular. Spoiler free, of course. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you would like more recommendation videos. And let's get it. The story of Zetchbell concentrates upon the struggles and victories of Kiyomaro Takemina and Gashbell, two strangers thrown together and sent upon an epic mission. Like brothers and sisters, Kiyomaro is the older and more composed big brother, and Gash is the younger and more carefree brother. In contrast to some shonen that portray the MC as the lone wolf who bears the weight of the world, they confront the problems ahead of them together. The characters in Zetchbell emphasize the value of friendship and teamwork by relying on one another to forge an unbreakable determination, embracing their friends' aspiration and moving forward as a unit. Essential to the experience, the character interaction that throughout the entire manga will make you grin, laugh, cry and applaud. Even though the plot is developing at what can be considered very slow, Kiyomaro, Gash, and you as a reader are all left with lasting memories and impressions from each interaction. Despite the silliness, the artwork does a fantastic job of conveying feelings and ideas. It is simpler to understand the character's extreme anxiety, delight, and melancholy because of their exaggerated nature. You might feel a bit hopeless and chuckle on how absurd it is at the same time that tears start to fall. The plot of Seven Seeds centers around five different teams. Summer A, Summer B, Spring, Winter and Fall, who were placed in a cryogenic slumber with the intention of returning to the soon-to-be-devastated Earth. The narrative of Seven Seeds is incredible. Not only is the plot compelling, but Yumi Tamura's storytelling techniques are also remarkable and make this manga genuinely stand out. In Seven Seeds, there isn't a single established protagonist. Instead, the focus alternates between the individual narratives of each team and their attempts to coexist in this unfamiliar and perilous world. The character development is breathtaking takingly beautiful. The characters themselves provide a variety of viewpoints and are exquisitely and thoughtfully constructed. Despite the potential for confusion, keeping track of so many people is undoubtedly worthwhile. In my opinion, it takes a lot of guts that the author did not hold back when introducing you to her characters. She even goes so far that she makes them even hateful. However, she is not careless and everything makes perfectly sense. I think this manga is really hidden in the shadow and it's really underrated. Everything about it is fantastic. The story, the artwork, the character development. And when reading this, you will not feel like time is slipping away. Eternal Sabbath follows the story of Akibaru Yosuke, an experiment human clone who possesses over the gene ES. The bearer of this gene can live up to 200 years and is immune to all diseases. Additionally, the user possesses unique abilities that allow him to look into people's brains and influence their inner thoughts. There are a few people who can withstand this force to some extent, but their uniqueness remains a mystery. Mine Kujo is one of them. A neurological expert from an American research institute focused on psychology. She is incredibly clever and might be among the most sensible characters in the manga. Her desire to analyze everything and everyone is one of the reasons she struggles with interpersonal connections. They both begin a conflict with another cloned ES experiment. But this one is malevolent and seeks destruction, unlike Akiba. The characters have great complexity and development. The mangaka addresses a wide range of issues in contemporary culture and possesses some thought-provoking questions regarding humanity. One of these questions are, what is love 
and what distinguishes loving someone from liking or pampering them. What does motherhood mean, and how would people respond if clones with dangerous abilities were to arise? It makes you think all of these questions, and makes you think about these topics after you finish the manga. The characters are deep and realistic, and the plot and its progression flow really easily. The non-human entities are able to encapsulate the essence and the complexity of what it means to be human. In addition to posing the age-old moral conundrum of whether people are born good or bad, Eternal Sabbath is both simple and complex at the same time. I am not going to lie, everything in this manga was fantastic. The character sensitivity and their dual animalistic and compassionate nature really stood out to me. The study of the human brain's inner works is insane, as well as the action scenes full of supernatural quality. This is a must read. Let me know in the comments which manga you will be checking out first or comment the manga you think deserves way more attention. Thank you so much for watching and your support and I see you all in my next video. Bye bye!